So many people are dying, funeral home directors don't have a place to put them and hospitals have to put them in refrigerated 18 wheelers and funeral home directors are stuffing them in U-Haul trucks. These are the worst of times in the world. However, our God is a help, a present help, a help found, one whom we have found to be so. Do you know after 40 years of preaching the gospel and being a Christian, I've never met anybody I've never met a Christian, I've never met anybody who said God didn't help them. I've met thousands of folk, and I've never had anybody to tell me that God did not come through. The, the unanimous uh, testimony about God is that God always comes through. Always, God has never failed. A help at hand, always, one that is always near, my God, my God. May I encourage you to believe on Jesus Christ. May I encourage you to trust him. May, as the old saints used to say, may I encourage you to try him. We cannot desire a better, nor shall we ever find the like in any creature. Let those be troubled at the troubling of the waters who build their confidence on a floating foundation. But let not those be alarmed who are led to the rock there find firm footing. The river alludes to the graces and consolation, yea, the consolations of the Holy Spirit of God, which flow through every part of the church. And through God's sacred ordinances, gladdening the heart of every believer, it is promised that the church shall not be moved. The church shall not If God be in our hearts by his word, dwelling richly in us, we shall be established. We shall be helped. Let us, let us trust in God and not be afraid. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, in this standing between the living and the dead memorial, prayer, devotional service, join me in praying for government officials, praying for Believers in Christ, law enforcement, medical workers, and other essential workers across the country and around the globe. As we read together, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. It says, I exhort, therefore, that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life. You are a Christian and you don't love a quiet and peaceable life. I don't know you. I cannot see you as a brother or sister. I believe all Christians want to live quiet and peaceable lives. And if you want that, you need to pray. And 
you need to obey in all godliness and honesty. Holy Father God, we pray for all of your believing Christians, those who name the name of Christ, your people called by your name, those who have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ for their salvation in a very real sense. Help us to pray, to seek your face, to turn from our wicked ways and to humble ourselves and get back to you, our first love. And Lord, have mercy and grace upon each and every one of us and forgive us of our sins and help us by the power of your Holy Ghost to truly repent and to turn from our evil ways. Lord God in heaven, we thank you for your right hand of blessing down through the years, your right hand of favor. And Lord, uh, forgive us of our sins of taking you for granted, for not being thankful, for not being grateful to you, for not showing the proper appreciation by loving you back and showing that by being obedient to you. Forgive us of our sins of marginalizing you and pushing you to the periphery of our lives and knocking you off of the throne of our heart. Break us, make us, and mold us to be the humble, down in the dust, humble Christians we should be. Lord, help us to confess our sins and help us to forsake our foolishness. Help us to forsake the prosperity false gospel. Lord, help preachers who have misused your money, give them, sell their houses and sell their expensive cars, and give the money, show repentance by giving the money back to the people. And Lord, help pastors who have tried to build their kingdoms instead of your kingdom to sell some of their buildings that they count as something called success as jewels in their little crowns. Lord, help them to sell these unnecessary buildings, properties that the church owns and give the money to the people immediately because the people need their money back that they gave. Hopefully all of it to you, but Lord, help these pastors to do that. Help every pastor, help every preacher to minister to the people on a daily basis and to show their love for the people. And Holy Father God, we pray in the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for salvation, spiritual, family, financial, material, protection and provision, blessings that you've bestowed upon us down through the years. And now, Lord, we pray for the president and all other government officials, the administration, Congress, governors, mayors, police chiefs, sheriffs, and all of the frontline workers in every field. We pray for the families of the firemen who were injured badly the other day in a fire explosion. Comfort them as only you can. And uh, Holy Father God, lead God and direct government officials to follow, to be saved, to follow your holy word, to turn over the evil that has been done in our government, and to get us back on a good footing and foundation based upon your holy word and not just have in God we trust on the money. And Lord, help so-called church leaders to confess their sins and repent for acquiescing and encouraging abominations in the government. And Holy Father God, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the salvation of every soul in this country, around the globe, and in the media. Have your Holy Ghost to not give them rest until they come to know your Savior. We pray for millions to be saved. We pray, Lord, for uh, revival in the hearts of every Christian to 
Lord, we pray in this country, around the globe, and in the media as well, by the power of your word, by the power of your Holy Ghost. And then, Lord, we pray for every country in the same way that we pray for ours. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray, Lord, for all persecuted Christians in this country and around the globe. Lord, in China especially, in Nigeria especially, Kenya especially, Philippines especially, and other places. Lord, we pray that you'll comfort them as only you can, deliver them as only you can, and help them and provide for them as only you can. Help us to do our part. In Jesus Christ's name, we continue to pray. Lord, for all of the people, all of the families, and friends of coronavirus victims who have died. Lord, uh, comfort them as only you can. Help them to turn their eyes towards you, Lord Jesus, for salvation and comfort and to your holy scriptures for comfort as well. We pray for the family and friends of Iowa resident Marie Jordan pray for the family and friends of Wisconsin resident Dale Wiskowski. We pray for the family and friends of Wisconsin veteran Robert Blackbird. We pray for the family and friends of Wisconsin resident Lawrence Raleigh. We pray for the family and friends of Mississippi Police Lieutenant Leonard Wells. Pray for the family and friends of Louisiana resident Loletta Populars. We pray for the family and friends of New York Dr. James T. Goodrich. We pray for the family and friends of New York Holocaust survivor Abraham Hockerton Hohn. We pray for the family and friends of Illinois uh, resident Marlo Stoudemire. Pray for the family and friends of New York Fire Marshal John Knox. Lord, we commit these souls into your hands. Let your will be done in their lives. Comfort them as only you can. Lord, lead them and guide them. Lord, to yourself, Lord Jesus. And also, Lord, lead them and guide them to your Holy Scripture for comfort because we have no words and we can't comfort them in a situation like this. Only you can do it. And now, Holy Father God, <coughs> we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ <coughs> for some new prayer requests that have come in to our ministry here. We pray for Cheryl her Christian bookstore to receive financial support uh, and uh, to be able to open. No worries, just like the uh, liquor stores are able to open. And uh, we pray for Ro Rosario, whose work of miracle and touch and soften these heart and the hearts of the people around her. And bring about reconciliation and forgiveness uh, between them. Heal Rosario and give her strength to face things that are beyond her capabilities. We pray for Nita. Please fix the complications with the utility company regarding the use of her sister's name. Protect the new house from theft vandalism and her and her sister to be accepted into the state address confidentiality program. Lord, we pray for Marie Grace. Please protect her and her family. Heal her son. Uh, Dean heart, mind, soul, and spirit and deliver him from the abomination of transgenderism and from the witchcraft that he is involved in. 
deliver Marie and her loved ones from the evil people who are pursuing them. Turn this ugly, long-term spiritual battle into dust and stop her daughter, the Raven, from working against her. Save Dean and Raven. We pray for Isaac. Please bless the missionaries, the water well project and the church building project, the medical camp and ministries to school children and widows. Bless the children's home and orphanage, uh, centers for orphans and disabled children. Bless his three-day pastors' crusade, June 25, uh, June 25th, rather, uh, and through 27th. Let your will be done, and protect them from all of the, protect all of them from the coronavirus disease, and bless them with 1,000 Bibles. Bless all the ministry programs with the sponsors they need. We pray for Tammy, for her uh, to receive child support and the car accident settlement. And we pray for salvation and the healing of the rest of her family, including herself. And, Lord, we pray for Leonidas. Please bless his ministry in Rwanda. We pray for Brother Padilla. Please protect his family and bless his ministry. And we pray for Shan Quetta, for her family, to get a decent housing situation and not be homeless. We pray for her husband to keep the faith and remain strong. For her uh, three brothers and mother to be strong in you as well. And now, Lord, we pray for those who have gotten saved, those who have also rededicated their life to you through the preaching of the gospel and your holy word. And we pray for Thomas, we pray for Keith, Carrie, Caro, Jaffet, Vincent, and Jafin. Help these to grow in the faith and be the strong Christians you want them to be. We pray, Lord, for the people who have recommitted their lives through the preaching of your holy word as well to you. We pray for G, Borquette, Kobe, Jeanette, Sundara, Agnes, and Mary. We commit all of these souls into your hands. Let your will be done in their lives and in ours. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Our devotional reading today is Come Clean. Come, come glean, rather, today. Come glean today. We do need to come clean as well, but Charles Spurgeon is talking about come glean today by Charles Haddon Spurgeon. Ruth chapter 2, verse 2 says, Let me now go to the field and glean ears of corn. Charles Haddon Spurgeon is the only preacher I know who can take a verse out of context, somehow make sure it stays in context and build a 12-page sermon out of it. He said, downcast and troubled Christian, come and glean today in the broad field of promise. Here are an abundance of precious promises which exactly meet thy wants. Take this one. He will not break the bruised reed, nor quench the smoking flax. Doeth not that suit thy case? A reed, helpless, insignificant, and weak. A bruised reed, out of which no music can come weaker than weakness itself, a reed, and that reed bruised,
yet he will not break thee, but on the contrary will restore and strengthen thee. Thou art like the smoking flax, no light, no warmth can come from thee. But he will not quench thee, he will blow with his sweet breath of mercy till he fans thee to a flame. Wouldest thou glean another ear? Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. What soft words! Thy heart is tender, and the master knows it, and therefore he speaketh so gent gently to thee. Wilt thou not obey him, and come to him even now? Or this, the spirit and the bride, say, Come, and let him that is athirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the way of life, the water of life freely. Our master's field is very rich. Behold the handfuls. See there they lie before thee, poor timid believer. Gather then up and make them thine own. For Jesus bids thee take them. Be not afraid, only believe. Grasp these sweet promises. Thrash them out by meditation and feed on them with joy. Shall we pray? Holy Father God, we praise you and we thank you for our time together in this standing between the living and the dead memorial and prayer and devotional service, which is so needful in this day and time even though that the masses don't believe so, but your faithful few do. And we give you the glory, the praise, and the honor for giving us a heart and mind to do this together. Uh, no doubt uh, it is a very powerful thing because I've never seen the devil fight a service so hard so, Holy Father God, help us, Lord, to take heed to what we've heard from your word today. Help us, Lord, to pray without ceasing throughout the remainder of the, of the day. And we pray now that every lost soul under the sound of my voice, every person who does not know you as Savior, would repent and trust you as Savior, Lord Jesus for their own soul's salvation so that they will be able to go to heaven one day and not go to hell. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for sake. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are with us today and you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ himself invites you to be saved from hell and saved to heaven. You need to get, if you will, your eternal life insurance policy today, signed by the blood and in the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said these words to you in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Holy Bible also says in Romans 10, 9, and 13, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou, you, shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Saved from what? Ultimately, saved from hell, saved to what? 
saved to heaven when you die. And yes, salvation makes a difference, a big difference in your life while you're living in many, many ways. But ultimately, you're being saved from the torments of hell and saved to the beauties of heaven. So, dear friend, if you are willing to believe in your heart today, to understand first that you are a sinner. For the Bible says we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and that you need a Savior. His name is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ suffered, bled, and died on the cross for your sins was buried and rose on the third day and to be saved from that awful place called hell to have your eternal life insurance policy intact and to be saved to that wonderful place called heaven all you have to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou you shall be saved are you willing to do that today if you are I'm willing to lead you in prayer Call the sinner's prayer. Repeat after me, phrase by phrase, and mean it from your heart. Let's pray. Holy Father God, I acknowledge that I am a sinner, and that I have done evil in your sight. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. my failures and my faults as I now believe with all of my heart in the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe with all of my heart that he suffered and he bled and he died on the cross for my sins to pay my sin debt, that he was buried and that he rose on the third day by your power So, Lord Jesus Christ, please come into my heart and into my spirit and save my soul from hell. And save my soul to heaven. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. And help me to repent of my sins past. And help me to turn from my wicked ways in my wicked life and help me to follow you Lord Jesus in the new life for it is in your name I pray amen now dear friend of mine if you just turn to Jesus if you just trusted in Jesus Christ as your Savior and you pray that prayer with me and you meant it from your heart, I declare to you that based upon the word of God, you are now saved from hell and you are on your way to heaven. Welcome to the family of God, dear friend. I want to congratulate you on doing the most important thing in life, and that is receiving the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior into your heart and believing on him for your soul's salvation. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ Jesus, please go to gospellightsociety.com and read my pamphlet titled, What to Do After You Enter Through the Door. Jesus Christ said in John 10:9, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Until next time, my beloved, may the Lord bless you and keep you, is my prayer. As I do every Monday now, by the grace of God, if the Lord should tarry his coming and we, li we live, uh, all of the cameras are going to go down in about uh, 15 minutes. I'll be back uh, preaching and teaching in the Onward Christian Soldiers Bible class. Uh, and
and I believe we're still dealing with the temptation and sin of envy. Uh, and uh, we'll be dealing with that today. In about 15 minutes, you're welcome to come back. Uh, uh, at that time, invite people that you know who don't know Christ. It's safe. If you are afraid to witness to them, let me do it. Because this is crucial. Especially during this time. As we're all under the threat of death. If you have a family member, a friend. I don't care if they're old or young. And uh, you need to get them under the sound of the gospel. Uh, where they can understand it. And be saved. And so... Uh, if God leads you and uh, you're willing to do it, please do so. God bless you. Until then, uh, all cameras are going down. And then I'll be back in about 10 to 15 minutes by the grace of God. Let's all stand for our closing prayer. Holy Father God in heaven, we praise you and we thank you for our time together today in the standing between the living and the dead. Lord, by your grace and by the power of your Holy Spirit and by your word, Lord, trying.